Hey, hey, my friend, JC in the house. So today we're gonna be making some New York bone-in steaks. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, do it with a nice, lovely assortment of herbs. And so with our herbs, we're having um, a tablespoon of each, okay? So we have thyme, oregano, cilantro leaves, garlic powder and onion powder, rosemary, sage, basil leaves, chopped chives, and um, parsley flakes. Then on top of that, I have, no, I have a whole tablespoon of paprika. I did one tablespoon of sea salt, two tablespoons of steak house seasoning, and one half tablespoon of pepper. And so here's all of our seasonings right here mixed together. And so what we're gonna do is go ahead and Sprinkle it onto one side. And so, um, there's a, um, there are just a little over three pounds between all three of these. And you want to go ahead and just mash them in. And we're gonna be doing them in the house on just on the stove, on you know pan today. So make sure it's really really hot when we put them on there. A little bit of um, olive oil and put them in just a little bit. Then we're gonna put them over. Whatever falls off of them, I also throw back on there after they're um, in the pan cooking. Because you know, a lot of the seasonings do come off when you're cooking. So they say you lose about 30% of it. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure we get back one. Get it all back. And so when we first started up in the, um, the pan, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sear it off first. Start with the, the main parts and then we're gonna go with the sides of them. I'll show you guys how to, just to do the top and bottom. I'm not gonna show you what the sides went on the side. All you have to do is make sure that when you're picking them, you wanna hold them to the side like this. I'm not gonna be able to hold the camera or the tripod and everything else and show you guys that one, so. If I figure out how to do it in the meantime, I will go ahead, or maybe I'll do one of them, just to show you guys how to do one of them. So I will be using the regular stove today for that. I'm not gonna use the little burner. So they're you're good. Like I said, after we get them on the pan and start cooking, we'll go ahead and just throw in whatever's things in right here. Okay, guys, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, my friends. We got the pan. Should be hot enough. We're gonna find out right now. When you lay them in, you also want to go towards you, not away from you, so you don't flush yourself. You want to be careful. There we go. Yeah, all three of them. So, give me a few minutes. I'll be right back with you guys. I want to give it a couple minutes to go ahead and brown on this side. We'll be right back. Okay, friends. So I just turned them over right now. And now that I'm the other side, I just do it right this minute. I couldn't turn them over and hold the camera and tripod at the same time. So I was telling you guys earlier about the, doing the sides. So I was just doing it. 
you're going to want to go ahead and just hold it against the, you know, the side of and just give it a couple of minutes or, you know, segment or doing whatever. And then when you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and flip it to the, neck, to the other side so that way you get all, all four sides of it. And basically that's it. Okay, you stir it off on all four ends. All right, I'll see you guys in a few. So now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to stir off the ends and everything like I just showed you. And then I'm going to go ahead and start it in the cook. I'm going to cook for a little bit because my family likes theirs to be medium well. So you have like no pink or nothing at all. Um, in the description section, so remember, I'll make sure to put in um, the temperatures and degrees for each way that people like to have their steaks. Okay? So then I'll see you guys in a few. All right, my friends. So I'm done. I did two videos at once today. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish both videos at once. Call it in, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut into the steak. Like I said, um, my family doesn't like the medium well. I don't really care for steak like this. I like steak meat when it's done, like, you know, um, as meaty and stuff like that. I don't like eating steak like this. I never have. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just don't. A lot of people love it. I don't care for it, but you know, I still do it. And one of the things I can't stand the most is fat. I do not like the fat of the meat. Anywho, so what's it? Bon appetit, my friend. Bon appetit. It's good. I like it. I like the flavor. Like I said, I just don't really care for. I just don't like eating. I never have liked eating steak meat, and I don't like eating ribs. I cannot stand. I cannot stand eating them out the bone. But one more bite, one teeth. Cause it is good. I don't care for it, but it is delicious right now. And then we have our roasted potatoes. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Mm-hmm. Now, see, I love potatoes, though. These are delicious. These are so good. Huh? What did you give me on them, my friends? Yeah. I eat them all right now. <laughs> but I won't. Anyways, my friends, thank you for watching the video. I hope you try and like today's food, which is something different than you know, what I usually do. Um, which I always spice it up and spice it up at home anyway, so, you know, um, I hope you enjoy and roasted red potatoes, get it out right, red roasted potatoes. Um, you know, always, always put also fresh garlic with it and everything. Some of my family members don't like the fresh garlic with it, so I just leave it alone for now. Sometimes I go through, I'll toss it through with the... Um, when I do it, I usually do it with like the stick or whatever. And so, you know how I put some on the olive oil. I usually um, like toss my potatoes in the olive oil that was in the pan with a little bit of garlic. So that way I can have that garlic on it. I didn't want to do it today because it was just, I just not, just not in the mood for that today. Um, I hope you enjoy also the, the herb steak. And I will be seeing you guys later. Have a great week. See you guys soon. And remember, there's nothing can do in the kitchen. It's okay to poach food. And JC is going to be signing off now. And bon appetit, my friends. Bon appetit. Eat them both at once. Bye, guys. Mmm. Love them. Love them. Don't care for them. Love them. Bye, guys. <laughs>